Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Garcia and in this video we're going to be doing a few choices for the DIY Project Life Kit made by my followers and my viewers on both Instagram and YouTube. And I've been trying to figure out how to do the poll voting because a lot of people don't do Instagram and uh, the first time I did it I only did the polls via Instagram but now I have the option of put it in the community tab so if you go to my channel on the community tab you're gonna find all the polls there you can also write your options here in the comment section I will count whatever you vote if you write it here and also vote on Instagram and on my community page of YouTube that I'm gonna count all three whatever is easier for you guys I'm okay with that and the first thing that I'm gonna choose are the the project life cards and I had two options so I decided to do a rounded card version and a square corner version so I'm using this page as the source of inspiration to find the cards that I want to use and what I'm looking for is color more than anything but also themes since it's beachy theme and fun and it has strings and fruits and stuff like that I'm gonna keep in mind all those elements and what I'm gonna do for each voting doesn't matter what I am gonna change the page I was afraid that if I based all my choices of one page everything will end up looking the same and I want to offer you two very different alternatives so you can pick whatever you like best and here I have cards from in a creative bubble feed your craft studio calico uh, L studio and I I went to the cards that I organized pretty recently and I have I have three different Antonio Stray's organizer from Ikea, which is the plastic container holding the cards that you can see in the top right corner. And I have three, so one of them has all my straight corners and they are divided with just a manila tag and some tabs that I cut out with my silhouette. And I kept it super simple. I didn't use a label maker or anything. I just wrote it directly on the tab with my handwriting. And I have one with the straight corners and I have other one with the court kit cards. And those have rounded corners and they are divided by kit. And then I have others that are divided by color. So I figured that I would start doing, doing it by company and theme here. And if I needed more, then I would go to the color ones. So this is the first option for the straight cards. I also see a few Freckle Fawn cards, very old from back when I used to subscribe to their kit. And I didn't count them, I just kind of eyeballed it. I wanted enough cards to do filler cards, to journal, to, do, uh, to maybe add a photo. So I wanted a little bit of everything. And for the 4x6 cards, I also wanted a few that would work as title cards. I of course wanted just a few to add journaling to. And if I need anything else, I might use it directly from my paper pad. So these are the round corner cards. And as you can see on the side, they are divided by either kit or sometimes company. I do have a... A pack of pseudo calico cards there that I'm gonna use for this kit I know that this was a specific uh, one of those mini kits it was either sunshine or something like that I do have the names in the cards so um it's called uh, High Sunshine and the very first one was Shine Bright. I also wanted to use those Happy Place uh, cards from Dear Lizzie from her core kit because I knew that it had 
some beach related images and also it had a few pairs of sunglasses in the cards so I thought it would be perfect for that and the colors are really good too uh, I'm happy that there's purple in this paper pad there's not enough purple in the scrapbooking world I don't know why that <laughs> that it's like that um and as I said I was looking for colors and patterns and things that would screen summer and would go with the paper pad which was uh that was one of the options the other option so this option is sunshine boulevard by damask Luff, the paper pad and the other one was reaching out by jen hatfield and they were both really cool but i do love the colors on this paper pad and it's a little bit easier for me to look into my cards and find things for this paper pad Later, I want to do one with the Jen Hatfield paper pad because I just think it would be interesting to see through my stash and see what might fit with that, um, with those colors. So if you have a bunch of these core kit cards, making these kits, it's like the best thing ever. I put them in a zipper pouch that I'm gonna link below to keep my kits together and it's I, I love having kits because it makes my project go a lot faster if I start looking through every little bit it's just it takes way too long and I'm already a slow scrapper so if I went looking around for every little thing that I wanted to use it would take me forever to even do one video and I am using as a guide a checklist that I got from dearly D's class on big picture classes I think it's it, I, I don't remember the name of the class and it's not in the in the printout but uh, before I took that class I used to do my kits but now after I took the class it's an amazing class you should really take it and big picture classes is like $10 a month for all the classes that you can take. And they always have like a trial option. Um, I have a class there too, but it's a lettering class. It's called uh, Lettering Playground if you're interested. But uh, the thing I love about that class was the checklist and her instructions were so clear. It was so good. My kids got a lot better after I started using her checklist. And I don't want to share it because it's from her class and I don't know. Everyone should uh, take the classes. And it's been a while since I've done a DIY Project Life kit. So uh, I feel like I need it a little bit to warm up. But um, I'm glad with the options I gather and I can't wait to see what you guys put together. And this is a closer look at the cards. A lot of Studio Calico, which I didn't think was going to be possible. Oh, there's some of the High Five core kit, uh, which is one of my favorites. That's why I always want to keep that one together. And there's so, also fruit and the little glasses and the summer themed cards. And after organizing all my cards, I was like, yeah, I don't need more Project Life cards ever. And lucky me, they're not selling them that often, sadly, and good for me at the same time. But you can see the organizing that I did with the cards on my Instagram. I could also upload the short here if you're interested in that. You can leave me a comment letting me know. And now I'm going to go through my stamps to pick stamps for this kit. I always like to add stamps. I have a bunch of them, so it's always good. If you have stamps and you're not using them enough, make sure you put them in a place where you can see it. If you have a desk, put it near your desk. I honestly, whenever I'm working, I only have the kit on my desk. 
And to organize my kits while I use them, I use the Antonio's tray from Ikea. So in each option, I'm gonna have four stamp sets. In the first option, I'm gonna have two of the Feed Your Craft stamp kits, uh, a citrus twist, little one in uh, freckle fawn. And I didn't want to repeat companies between, uh, you know, the stamp options, but I really like that alpha stamp set. And for the second one, it's going to be an illustrated faith stamp set, one from Feed Your Craft, an old one from Cedar Calico, and an old one, but one that I love from Citrus Twist that I haven't used in a while. So now I'm going to pick my alpha stickers. And I saw the these alphas from Target in my stash, and I was like, that would be perfect with this specific paper. I do keep my thickers in a place that is not with my alphas like at here right now you can see the little basket that I have in each uh, of my drawers I have all my embellishments divided by color and all I did was take the bigger basket that has all the alphas to check the colors it, this is a great way to find your items too especially if it's something simple like this like alphas it's perfect for that here i have two from studio calico two from pretty little studio and the one from target and i'm going to use a different paper again because i don't want a second option that looks exactly the same and i really wanted to use that l studio sticker sheet but it didn't have E's and it only has one A. I don't know it gets so tricky and annoying when you run out of your most used letters. So I'm trying to see what I can do, what project can I do with that that will get rid of all the Q's and Z's. I also have a lot of items from Freckle Fawn. Way back in the day, I used to subscribe to their kits, and I still have a lot of their items. I do love them, that's why I still keep them. And this is the second option. It's kind of a random collection of stickers, but I like, I like how it turned out. And now I'm going to pick the tiny word stickers, or the phrase stickers. Those are a few of my absolute favorites and I use them all the time so it's an important part of my kit and also try to keep it in a low number because if it's up to me I'll add all the embellishments of the world there I also gonna pick a few things once once all the the voting is over and you guys decide I am gonna pick some labels and I always put a bunch of random little embellishments and buttons and things like that in one of those Dollar Tree organizing boxes that I like using so I'm gonna add those by myself because otherwise it's gonna take way too long to decide and this is a rear option to that one that we just saw I like how I'm mixing the stickers and in a way, I feel like I've made weird decisions, but they are good weird, if that makes sense. I just want to have options, and uh, although I love to use a whole collection, I don't often buy the everything from one collection, so I, I do like to get out of the matchy-matchy. Besides, the point of this is to use um, items that I've had there for years that have made it through all the purges and all the destashing that I've done. And I think that those yellow letters that are ancient from my mind's eye match perfect with the taco truck and then I found that pink which is the exact same shade of the ice cream cart so I was really happy with that I didn't add white in the other one 
so I had two in this one I don't know why and then I did added I did want to add something black because there is a few details uh, in this pattern paper that has black and also it pops against all the color and if you're looking for a good little word stickers you should you should check out pretty little studio they have so many good awesome options there if there's one thing that i would get from pretty little studio always is the little phrase stickers they are amazing and again, I'm looking through those old options. That little sticker sheet of Freckle Fawn has two kind of stickers. It's just that to save space, if I had like one sad little orphan sticker somewhere, I would add it to another sheet and that would get, I would get rid of the packaging and all that and it was a lot less space. So last time I did some de-stashing, I did that. And it was a great, I just kept it in the company to make it easier. And I, in these sticker options, I wanted to include some of those washi strips that are like vellum because I have quite a few of those and I use so much washi that I forget about them very often again if I don't put them in my kit I'll just forget about them and I picked the rainbows because it had some arches I pulled that plain sticker it's not a sticker those are actually elements from in a creative bubble but I changed the colors I think the original colors were like the red and blue controllers but I, I love playing with the colors in the digital items that I get. And I have a video on that if you're interested. And I had it in my purple and green little basket. And I said, you know what? I'm going to leave it around with the stickers and I might pick it up later. And that sticker sheet has like three or four stickers left. And... I picked some of these just to like kill the the sheet. And even though I really like that Amy Tangerine, those Amy Tangerine sticker books, uh, I'll add it to a full kit maybe because I think I'm good on it. I, I don't think any I need any more items, but uh, they look like good options. And again, I'm going to pick something that is kind of complementary to the other uh, stickers, which is the little rainbows and the washi stickers. And I picked those from Figure Craft that I had. And more Freckle Fawn stickers, like I said, I have so many. Now I'm going to pick die cuts, and I kind of forgot. <laughs> I, I've been like finding the uh, items of the Sunshine Boulevard collection like randomly in my stuff and I was like oh I didn't know I had the washi I didn't know I had the the um, the die cut pack so of course I was like you know what that's a no brainer let's pick it but I also had some old Amy Tangerine die cut packs and I have them organized in a CD sleeve because I don't know if American Craft still does that, but they used to like package them in boxes and it was really annoying to store. So I just got the back of the packaging and added that to the to the CD um, sleep. And one thing that I wanted to pick was a sort of trans transparent die cut. So in the other one, I pick the numbers and in this one I have some fruit. And I was looking through the items I had and I had that Amy Tangerine set, but I also had, I, I went through my Pretty Little Studio stash 
and organized all the extra items I had and I added all my words in one CD sleeve and that's what you saw and here I wanted to decide between either doing a new sequin mix or in picking between those two sequin mixes but then I decided that I'm gonna reach into the ones that I've already made and I'm gonna put sequins against enamel dots and enamel stickers and the options that I had are some Chimel and some from Simple Stories and I that glitter girl said I just want to like be done with it so if you there's something that you want to use and you forget so it's new or if there's something that you use all the time but you want to like just scale it put it near your desk so you can use it often so here are all the options and I'm gonna have some photos up next that way you can maybe remember better and I'm gonna add the poll to my community tab as soon as I upload this so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see what you guys pick for me you did an amazing job picking Sunshine Boulevard so I can't wait to see what's next Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.